If the traffic signals fail, interchanges run into pure chaos. Is it possible to design an interchange without any traffic signals and still manage the traffic smoothly? Seems like an impossible dream, but not for Mr. Arthur Hale. Look at his innovative interchange design, the Cloverleaf design. This design manages traffic without traffic lights. Anybody can move anywhere. The genius part of his design? Never take a 90 degree turn like this. Instead, you either take it this way or a complete 270 degree loop. Sounds crazy, right? If all the four parties decide to take a 90 degree turn like this, as if by magic, they are all able to reach their destinations without any vehicle clashes. Absolutely no traffic lights and no waiting time. The Cloverleaf Interchange might be the most beautiful innovation in civil engineering. Just observe these line animations to understand how this design achieves this. This design, which resembles a cloverleaf, is used when two highways intersect. The design allows free-flowing movement of traffic. Invented in 1915, this interchange design began to mushroom all over the world. Can you spot a major issue with this perfect-looking interchange design? Why did this accident happen? This car on the loop is entering the freeway and speeding up. Now, assume this truck wants to enter in a loop. This causes a weaving problem. You may expect traffic congestion in this region, and if the drivers are not careful, it can obviously lead to an accident. The other major issue with the Cloverleaf design is that it occupies a lot of space. Do you have a design solution to solve both of these problems? Have a look at this design, the partial cloverleaf interchange. A modification of the full cloverleaf, the partial cloverleaf interchange eliminates some of the loops to reduce space requirements. Here again, anyone can reach anywhere without waiting for a traffic signal. And we avoid the weaving problem too. Sounds like magic. This field of study, transportation engineering, is refreshing. But observing these long, beautiful arrows is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, it's time to introduce the most important concepts in transportation engineering, conflict points. The partial cloverleaf interchange has six merging and six diverging conflict points. Luckily, it has zero crossing conflict points, which are the most dangerous kind. The engineers also have to decide about the right road banking. Otherwise, they even have to check the driver's field of view. And above all, space limitations and budget constraints. Engineers have come up with a lot of unbelievable interchange ideas over the years. Let's delve more into this exciting field. The diamond interchange is a popular solution when a highway intersects a secondary road. Its design consists of four ramps forming a diamond shape, hence the name. This type of interchange is efficient in areas of moderate traffic volume, offering easy and direct access between the roads with minimal land use. The diamond interchange supports high traffic volumes and speeds, but it requires the use of traffic lights. The traffic is managed in three phases in this interchange. Have a look at the conflict points of this interchange. It has 26 with 10 being crossing points. No doubt, to cross this interchange, you have to wait a lot. It's time to introduce an engineering innovation from 2009 that has transformed the diamond interchange forever, the diverging diamond interchange. With a minor modification to the traditional diamond interchange, the engineers were able to reduce the conflict points from 26 to a mere 14. Sounds impossible to achieve, Here's the proof. With this simple modification, the conflict points reduced from 26 to 14 with just two crossing points. Vehicle collisions were reduced by 50%. When one road terminates at another, we need a different kind of interchange. The semi-directional T interchange is a commonly used three-way interchange design. The way traffic gets transited is illustrated clearly here. However, engineers didn't stop here. Some of them challenged this design 
to achieve a reduced land usage and construction cost. Hence, the trumpet design was born. It's obviously much smaller compared to the previous design and achieves all the traffic needs. Looks like a genius design. However, this design is not suitable for high traffic volume. The reason is these loops with tight radius. Vehicles have to reduce speed because of these loops. If you are a creative engineer, here is an interesting challenge for you. Why is there a huge traffic jam on this interchange? To understand what happened here, we should first understand what a vehicle sweep path is. Let me introduce you to a powerful yet affordable engineering tool, ZWCAD, for this purpose. Its familiar and intuitive interface ensures a smooth transition from other CAD software. With perpetual licenses, you own your software forever. For US and Canada users, a subscription model is also available. In transportation engineering, ZWCAD is essential for designing and managing infrastructure projects like highways, intersections, and public transit systems, with its DWG compatibility ensuring seamless data exchange between different agencies and contractors. For architectural engineering, it provides a powerful and cost-effective platform for creating precise 2D construction drawings and detailed 3D models of buildings and structures. Please pay close attention to this scenario. At first, it seems like the road has sufficient width for both the truck and the car. But when you do a sweep path analysis using ZWCAD, you will be shocked. The truck needs a much larger area to complete the turn. During this turn, if a smaller vehicle is trying to overtake the truck, you can expect a clash and traffic jam. The area swept by the vehicle during a turn is called the swept path. The case of a tractor-trailer truck is even crazier. The tractor and trailer behave differently here. Let's do an analysis using ZWCAD once again. Please pay special attention to these two curves. The outermost one is the path followed by the outside tractor tire, and the other curve is the path followed by the innermost trailer tire. From this, we can find out the maximum width of the swept path. This means the engineers must increase the road width in accordance with the swept path. Obviously, for a road with such a tight radius, there is no space to allow one more lane. This means if the engineer wants to allow a trailer truck on our trumpet interchange, the only option is to increase the road radius. The new design is shown here. Moreover, in a region where the swept path width is maximum, the engineers often go for a pavement widening a road with varying width. The insights we gained from the ZW CAD sweep path analysis were crucial. Now, let's enjoy this improved design of the interchange using 3D animation. The engineers have come up with the crazy interchange designs in the past few decades. How did they come up with these ideas? I don't know. What we can do is, Sit and analyze the beauty of these designs. While you analyze, please pay special attention to the number of conflict points, driver's field of view, and any potential weaving issues. This design, the turbine interchange, looks crazy. This interchange is located in Ghent, Belgium. The turbine interchange is a large, free flowing interchange designed for the junction of major freeways carrying very high traffic volumes. It is characterized by its semi-directional ramps for left-turning traffic, which sweep around the center of the interchange in a spiral pattern, resulting in a multi-level structure. This configuration completely eliminates weaving and all at-grade conflict points, allowing traffic to move at high speeds through the junction without stopping. Its primary disadvantages are its immense size and high construction cost. For this reason, its use is typically reserved for the most critical and heavily trafficked system-to-system -system highway connections. You can enjoy a similar beautiful turbine interchange design in Kansas, USA. Ever wonder why a massive structure of concrete and asphalt is named after a sport? The volleyball interchange gets its name because its two main loop ramps are huddled together on the same side of the freeway like a volleyball team setting up for a play. 
This design is the traffic engineer's secret weapon for connecting a major freeway to a smaller road without causing total chaos on the highway. This configuration successfully eliminates dangerous weaving maneuvers on the high-speed freeway mainline, a significant safety improvement over the full cloverleaf design. However, it introduces at-grade intersections with traffic signals on the secondary road, where ramp traffic and left-turning vehicles from the freeway must stop. Consequently, the volleyball interchange represents a compromise, offering better safety on the freeway at the cost of potential congestion on the intersecting minor road. A great example of this kind of interchange can also be found in Kansas, USA. The High Five Interchange in Texas is mind-blowing. It resembles a multi-story building. This is a stack interchange, a multi-level grade-separated interchange which completely eliminates the crossing conflict points. The stack interchange is designed to handle very high volumes of traffic at the intersection of two major freeways. Its defining feature is a series of flyover and fly-under ramps that carry left-turning traffic over or under the main highway lanes, creating a vertical stack of roadways. This configuration completely separates all traffic movements, eliminating any weaving and allowing vehicles to traverse the interchange at high speeds. While the stack interchange offers the highest possible capacity and safety, it is also the most expensive and complex type of interchange to construct due to its verticality and numerous bridge structures. If you have ever visited Doncaster, UK, you might have seen this beautiful interchange, the Rotary Interchange. Rotary Interchange's central feature is a circular roadway that all turning traffic must navigate, while through traffic on the main freeway typically passes uninterrupted on overpasses or underpasses. This design is more efficient and safer than many at-grade solutions. However, you might have observed that these interchanges require a large land footprint. Also, the drivers have to navigate a large multi-lane roundabout. Consequently, they are also implemented where space is available and a balance between high capacity and controlled speeds is desired. Have a look at this interchange design from Hyderabad, India, or this one from Bathgate, UK. You have guessed its name correctly, Dumbbell Interchange. The Dumbbell Interchange is a variation of the classic Diamond Interchange that utilizes two roundabouts at its ramp terminals. These roundabouts are positioned on either side of the freeway, connected by a bridge that crosses over or under the main highway lanes. By replacing conventional intersections with roundabouts, the Dumbbell Interchange significantly reduces the number of head-on conflict points, leading to improved safety and reduced delays. It is particularly effective in suburban areas with moderate traffic volumes. The footprint required for this interchange is much lower than that of a cloverleaf. Engineers have even imagined an interchange design that resembles a paper windmill. The windmill interchange is characterized by a set of spiraling ramps that pass around the center. This configuration allows for the separation of turning movements from through traffic, which helps reduce the weaving conflicts. However, this design often requires vehicles to slow down significantly due to the sharp curvature of its ramps. However, this beautiful design is still a theoretical or fantasy concept. Due to the high cost of construction and large land requirement, there are no examples of the windmill design that have been built in the real world. Transportation planners are constantly innovating and developing new interchange designs to improve traffic flow and safety. The diverging windmill is one of them. This interchange strategically eliminates left turns that would otherwise conflict with opposing traffic. By channeling all turning movements through one simplified intersection, the diverging windmill reduces the number of conflict points and required signal phases. This results in significantly improved safety, increased capacity for turning vehicles, and most importantly, a compact physical footprint compared to traditional cloverleaf or turbine interchanges. This design also remains a concept design. Anyway, if you come to see any such design in your city, 
please let us know. Using ZWCAD to explore the secrets of transportation engineering was an absolute fun. Before you leave, please check out our special ZWCAD page. Take care. Bye-bye.